All right, what's up? It's Mike. We're here to tell you about 70 kilos at the open this year, man. Men's freestyle. And I'm telling you right now, it kind of has a little bit of everything when it comes to wrestling styles. We're going to go through it with a fine tooth comb, tell you who to watch and what to watch for. Okay, before we get talking about people that will be at the Open at 70 kilos, we have to talk about who won't be at the Open at 70 kilos, and that's James Green. Uh, James has locked down this weight class over the better part of the decade, and he's brought home two, count them, one, two world medals at the weight. Now, he won't be there. He did retire this past week, and, um, you know, I guess he's taken on a role as a developmental coach at USA Wrestling, so good on him for that. Two guys that definitely will be at the Open is Jordan Oliver and Alec Pantelio. Seems like they're the two front runners for the weight class. Um, Jordan Oliver, as everyone kind of knows watching this, has a high powered offense. He can, he doesn't take an abundance of shots, but when he shoots, a lot of times he scores, except against Alec Pantelio. Pantelio has beaten him twice already, um, once at our eight man, once at a Rudis event, but understand that Jordan Oliver is a big match wrestler. He turns it up at the open, he turns it up at the trials. So, so putting him at 70 kilos in this open field is really, really dangerous for everyone involved. Now, they're not the only two that you have to watch. Tyler Berger looked outstanding at the Farrell. I assume he was getting acclimated to 70 kilos, which he hasn't made in a very, very long time, but he looked really good. He looked great in the finals against Ashnall. So look for him to make some serious noise at 70K. Don't think that he's the only one in this weight class that can make some noise or upset the bracket. Anthony Ashnall seems to be in the right frame of mind to put on an absolute show. He had a shootout with Berger in the Farrell Finals, and I'm telling you, when he's clicking on all cylinders, Schnalty's real hard to beat. When he's picking ankles out of the air and transitioning to laces, the dude is way hard to beat. Okay, two guys that I want you to circle as absolute bracket busters in this 70 kilo field, Bryce Andonian, Ja'Cory Teamer. These two are probably the most unorthodox wrestlers that you will find in this field. Bryce Andonian gives zero rips about <laughs> going up top and throwing everybody. And Ja'Cory Teamer is a knuckleball pitcher like he's just he, his best offense is when he's probably got a leg up in the air so these guys if if you've never wrestled them right like if you've not wrestled Bryce Andonian you don't know how to react to some of the the ties that he gets into if you've never wrestled Ja'Cory Teamer you don't know how to react to some of the the kind of the reattacks and the and the funk that he can throw at you so they can really spoil a seed. <laughs> um, but, but keep in mind that those two are usually the kinds of guys that will upset people in the beginning of the day. Usually by the time they've got a couple matches under them, coaches are going, wait, 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 we gotta watch this guy. Another guy that won't be at the, the Open though, but it's, it's worth talking about is Ryan Deacon, okay? And that's kind of playing towards the World Team Trials. I, as, as far as I'm concerned, this is a three horse race for 70 kilos going into Serbia. J.O., Pantelio, and Ryan Deacon. How Ryan Deacon makes 70 kilos is absolutely beyond me. The guy's six foot tall and he's hollow. Um, but, but just understand that he's kind of waiting in the wings at the World Team Trials already because he's qualified with an NCAA championship. That should do it for 70 kilos from the open. Don't miss one minute of the action coming to you live on Flow Wrestling from Las Vegas.